All right, OnePlus 7 Pro users. So today's video, we're going to go ahead and look at a section in the settings for the OnePlus 7 Pro called the buttons and gestures. Okay, so let's go ahead and quickly dive into that. So we'll go to settings here. Of course, the settings gear icon here. And then we're going to go to where it says buttons and gestures. Okay, so we'll go to that. Okay, so you'll be from the top here. It's right here. We'll go into that. And... Upon the initial setup of your OnePlus 7 Pro, you will have a section where they will ask you what do you want for these uh, available gestures to be in as quick, uh, very cool, awesome gestures that I think that everyone would most likely use at some point of their life using the phone. So we'll go to where it says quick gestures. That's what we're going to focus on today. We'll go to that and then we'll go to where it says screen off gestures. Now that is actually a really cool section. And one of my favorites is the double tap to wake. And again, upon a, the initial setup of your phone, they'll ask if you want these to be enabled or not. But if you missed it, this is where you go to get it. So the double tap to wake, of course, is the uh, if your screen is off, you can double tap something similar to that of the LG and the Samsung S10 and up phones. And then we got the music control, which uh, of course draw with two fingers to play or pause music draw. Now I personally haven't, haven't really tried this. I'm still new to this phone, but when I do, I'll let you guys know how to do this. But um, the one with the O, draw the O when your camera is off. Now, I mean, when your phone is off. So these, um, when you go into it, draw the O, if you tap into it, the shortcuts, you can actually change what you want it to do. So instead of just having it open it, you can have it open the front camera instead of the rear one. Then there's the record a video and then there's the one with turn on and off flashlight. So you can replace that and that. So uh, let's go ahead and try that out. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna draw an O and it's actually really responsive. It's not to say that you're gonna have to like really be slow or anything like that. The thing responds pretty sweet. Like, I mean, it just, it's really amazing. I mean, I was kind of curious about it. I was like, you know, maybe these things won't work like that, but it does work. It works really awesome. So draw V for the flashlight. And again, you can go ahead and change those settings. As you can see, the first two has an option as in draw an O for the camera, draw V for the flashlight. And if you want to add more, there is draw an S. So the S so far has nothing for it. But if you want the S to be, say, uh, to record a video, since you don't have that yet, or open the front camera, you can check that. And then every time you draw an S while your screen is on the lock screen, it'll take you to that option. And of course, you can also have it choose other applications, which is another cool thing. And I think the list just goes all the way to every app that you have on your phone, which is very interesting and really just a super awesome um, feature to have on a phone. I don't even think Samsung, no wait, Samsung does not have that. All right, so let's just go with the calculator and then we got the S. So I'm gonna turn that off and of course an S is drawn this way, right? Does it work? Who knows? Let's see. Ah, uh, there you go. See? So you just gotta be a little bit firm with it and the calculator turns on. So to wrap things up, uh, this is a very cool feature. And I think once you get the hang of it and you have set it to all the stuff that you would most likely use. Uh, there's about five different letters. Uh, I think this is gonna be a very neat and um, very useful feature to have on your phone or to have it set on your OnePlus 7 Pro. And other than that, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more guides, and thanks for watching.